Out over there, I'm gonna put one of those Johnson's the AB 02 season with the built in defrost. Selling the rood, there it is. All right, here we are back here. This is the dead unit, got the recovery started. Um, This old unit from 1983. Some of you guys probably weren't even born then. That beater. 1983, right there. Old school. She's gone or she's getting replaced. All right, I got the uh, recovery going. We're coming right on down here. With the field piece, Mr. 45, Mr. 45. I love that thing for what I do. And then look at, I'm over here looking, look what I found. Pony love. Yeah. My little pony. Yeah. You know it's going to be a good day today. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Little pony love. I got the broom here so I could do some house cleaning when I get done with this. All right, I got that thing recovered. Got it out of the way. Power turned off. And uh, we're gonna clean up a little bit, do a little house cleaning. So that's my plan. I get this a little tidied up over here. There's the, uh, the outline where the old unit sat, right there. Pony! Here's our freshy System Pro. Let's see, we're gonna come back here. I'd rather, I like to pull them and not push them, so I always come backwards like this. A little four wheel drive this guy back here. And I'll put it down like that. Make a ripper open. Tiny little receivers nowadays. And that's gonna be a 8,000 BTUs. My coil is a 7,000 BTU coil. So we're right in there. And let's go for it. All right, so I moved the condensing unit, got it under a piece of pipe, so when you get under this piece with the silver solder, it's not as hard. You don't want to be laying down there, you know, like an air conditioner guy trying to make a connection. Get it up here like this. You want to make sure this is open too. If you get on there welding and it's hot, sometimes these will stick. All right, we're gonna get ready to uh, solder this up. Got the flex on there, I used the 56. 
I know I've heard you guys go, why don't you get the orange stuff so you don't have to use flux? That's fine. It's just the way I've always done it. Oh, I still got to go get my nitrogen rig and hook it. I was going to show you guys this before I grab the nitrogen. Uh, Home Depot Husky bag to stick the DL429 in. To stick it to your tool bag. And then it's got all my extra leads. And then the most important thing is I always stick my goggles in there too. So I got my safety glasses in there. So you always got a pair with you. If they're not on your face, like my sunglasses are prescription because I can't see things far away. And then I got my goggles right there ready to rock and roll. So let's get the nitro. All right, we've got our nitro set up, making sure it's purging. You hear that? We'll get her on there. Oh, this will be my out. And we'll plug this up. I'll put a piece of tape over it. Okay, very good. Get a little light flame going. We'll come down here and see if we can. I like to keep the heat on the copper when I do these. See if we can get the flow going. Dancing unit tied in outside. Up here on the evap coil, I gotta do some tidying up. And then I gotta change out this TXV. I got the balance port, half ton through one ton, it's Borland. It's a flare, the old one's a flare. And then I'm gonna put in the A21 ABD O2C thermostat with defrost. Great time to upgrade the thermostat while we're changing out the unit and upgrading. We had the old mechanical stat here, you see. And then uh, we'll get all this tidied up back here too. So let me get to cracking. Right, I gotta get two wrenches on. I gotta get a backing wrench right there to pop that one. And then the same right here on this one. There's an old R12 valve. So I got this one off. That one off, I was able to take this down with the liquid line so I can get to this flare. Now this is an old coil and it doesn't have a tap in it. On the header for checking superheat, so I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to add a Schrader fitting right there with the torch. Fender, check. Coil's dirty. Clean it up before startup.
put on the header, I'll just get a regular uh, A31004 quarter inch. I'm gonna cut it down with the tubing cutter. Just cut the shaft down. And uh, then we'll get that in there. I got my fitting cut down. I'll get this in there. And then we'll get it soldered up. There it is. Then we'll get that soldered up. Now we'll be able to get a superheat rating at the TXV. Off the header there, so soldered in. I'll get the Schrader in it and the cap on it. We'll be ready to pull the vacuum on this thing while I work on the thermostat. Wired up, the thermostat, that is really It's 69 degrees in this box right now. So let's go see where our vacuum's at and get this thing charging up. By the time I hooked up my thermostat, got all my wiring cleaned up, I've done 406 microns. Um... I actually pulled with two hoses today. Usually I just pull with one hose, but today I went with two to the T. Went up. Going down to 405. Not bad. Not bad at all. Gas yeah, energy. Just got it up and running. We're at 60 degrees. Let's go out to the unit and they run in here. The box is hot, 60 degrees in that box. So you'll see I'm at a 29 degree evaporator, 111 condensing. And we're pulling the load out right now. Another thing you'll notice with these new condensing units, the receivers are real tiny now. They're doing really small, so I only got two pounds of gas in this thing right now. What do I got? Two pounds, two pounds, seven ounces. And you'll find that they're just running on way smaller charges now. So you can't just go dumping a bunch of gas in there and flip it on thinking you're gonna be ready to start. You'll be way overcharged, so. That's with two pounds of gas in it. And it's probably not gonna take a lot more to be done at the end. You can tell by the pressures. So I gotta let the box pull down on the valve adjust before we clear the sight glass all the way. That's how I like to do it on these ones. So that box has a long way to go. Really warm in there. Yeah, it's with the box on 35. That's compressor super heat. Not exactly, but we're not all the way charged up yet either, so. That's what it looks like at the start. We'll get the um we'll get the field piece probes on the TXV super heat when the box pulls down closer to set point. Fifty-four degrees. I got the uh, field piece probes hooked up. And I'm checking it on the Measure Quick app. And I learned how to film the screenshot on my iPhone. So let me show you guys the screenshot. TXV's hanging right in there. I'll put another screenshot up of that. I got it right on there. It took three pounds of gas. 